what's going on peeps welcome to another how-to video so in this video I want to talk about civilization the importance of it and a few tricks that the big boys in COK are doing whilst you guys or most most of you guys don't know probably pondering about how um, they get so strong they got these massive like you know 800 attack or something 900 attack and high defense high health so i'm gonna in this video i'm gonna show you guys how to do that without spending money very little money probably not even you know not too much so as you can see here right so this this uh, castle over here um if you look at it it's standard it's dragonborn civilization and um it looks like the first you know castle skin uh, that uk used that's the dragonborn now so let's go inside and check my civilization out so i'm at friendly three on the top as you can see there with and um i'm halfway through i've already received the hero and the dragon at neutral three guys the dragon scarta dragon is very important one of the most important dragons in the game that one and the kraken and the red dragon they are um very important they got some good skills um this is a scarta I've, I've i've customized my scarta i gave them different skills i'll tell you guys about that later in another video when i do something about dragons but for now look at the civilization so um obviously each civilization gives you different bonuses the dragonborn gives you um research speed five percent at the moment catapult attack which is siege and it reduces enemy cavalry attack by five percent at the moment and um yeah you go for each civilization you got something different now i need to switch my civilization but why why do we switch civilization now the trick is, well, the idea behind it is, is that um, when you switch, if you finish a civilization, you go to the next one. So I finished Viking as well. I'm at respect level. And I finish this one. And I go to Yamato, for example. And then I go to Hauxi. I will obtain all the heroes, all the dragons, if I get up to neutral 3 or friendly 2 or 3. Depends on, you know... Um, for, for example, let's have a look here. So you unlock the hero at friendly and the dragon at neutral three. Why are we doing that? Well, each civilization has its own ancestral spirit, which is in other words, science, just like the college. For Viking, which is my first civilization, um, I finished 94.4%, um, as you can see here. And, um, you know, obviously I looked at Slaughter Cavalry. For Dragonborn, done the same thing. I'm at 88.9%. I'm stopping for the moment because I want to save the crystal for uh, the new civilization. I, um, I've i unlocked also the uh, the Raging Crossbowman, as you, as you know from my previous video. Um, so... The big boys in this game, for example, Ichi, who is, I think, the strongest uh, player from Kingdom 1037, I believe. Um, you know, he's on my other videos, if you check it, he's like Lord 55 already. You know, every new thing that comes in the game, he already maxed out. So he probably already maxed out all the civilization science. And he's probably, um, you know, uh, worship level civilization in the popularity. Now, um, they, they, what they do is they go to each civilization, either they spend money buying the donation books or they just kill a lot of people, a lot of other people and you know attack monsters and, and the abyss dragon. And then they would um, do the science for each one using the crystal. Crystal is, the, um, is this bit here. This is the civilization crystal you need to research. Okay. To research the science over here. Um, so they get one one by one, you know, 
the other one. You see, this is a bug. So you need to press this way so you to unlock the other side. Hawksy Spirit, Soul of Yamato, Viking, Dragon. They finish everything. They get all the science bonuses, the HP, the um, um, what's it called, the, the, the attack, defense, and other bonuses. And then they go back to their own, the strongest civilization they got. And then they get them like 900 attack, 800 attack, defense like nearly as much as my attack, like 500 or something. So what you need to do guys, first of all, at your current civilization, you need to um, make sure if you don't want to spend money, buy 10, $10 or 10 pounds or 10 euro, you need to make sure you get 800 civilization points. As you can see on the top civilization points, you need to have 800,000. Sorry, you need to have 800,000 to get the ancient, ancient scroll. Okay, with this scroll over here, you can switch civilization. I, as you can see, why I have so low points over here is because I already bought, I used my 800 points and I, um, and I bought this um, scroll for me. So in total, I have two. Let me see where I, if I can find it, so you guys know what item to use to change civilization. So this is the item over here. That's what you need. I got two of them for me to switch civilization. I'm gonna try to increase my military combat. You know, you know the percentages up. I'm trying to be very, you know, try to defend myself. I'm, I'm not a huge spender. I, you know, I buy here and there a few things. Uh, whenever I want, you know, um, but it's for us guys, the, the, the medium, you know, the, the lower, lower side of spenders, um, that they want to get strong in a, you know, effective and a quick way is doing it this way is to gain, is to switch civilizations and just benefit from all of them. So, um, I'm going to switch civilization. I'm not sure yet which one. I'm just gonna just gonna go with one. So I got this one, got that one, got the Yamato and Hauxi left. Um, everybody's saying the Yamato is really good, you know, because you got the Archer um, attack that comes with it, and um, it got a hero for for whatever building or something. And the Hauxi, I've seen it already. I've checked inside. It adds attack to everything and it adds a March size and also it um, does well in rallies get, adds extra attack in rallies but um, which one would you guys choose you know if you're in my position which one would you choose I'm just gonna go like you know one two one two and I'm just gonna go with this one here I'm gonna go with the Amato so three two one you wanna switch you know, there is an event going on where they give you, like, you won't lose anything, but it's not true, you know. But, um, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. So it's going to load. Right, here we go, guys. So, we are officially Yamato Civilization. So, with the Yamato Civilization, it looks pretty clean. I like the way it looks. It's nice and clean and organized, just like the Dragonborn. The Dragonborn is actually better because, you know, it, we got used to the, the, the skin and the inside when we first started playing this game. But um, here we go. So we got the Yamato over here. This is the tower. So um, I got some crystals left. So I'll do a few, um, few signs with you guys and I'll speed it up. Uh, first, we'll start with um, the infantry defense. So, okay, so basically you need neutral level to do it. So let's, let's, let's go and kill some monsters. Oh, as you can see, guys, the castle skin has changed. So it's different from the one before. So let's just, um, let's attack a few monsters quickly. Just to get neutral level. I hope we can. I'll get back to you guys when I um, reach one. Sorry guys, so uh, basically as you can see there's a minus 
uh, points 1585 uh, you need to get it up so we need to attack more of those monsters just wanted to show you guys what if that if you get that it's not a problem it just means that you need to get your civilization up to zero and above so we're just gonna attack those monsters over here and we should get as you can see there we go so we we got neutral le popularity level now we unlocked it okay Let's go back in and see how it looks like. Okay, so uh, I'm neutral now. That's my level, Arch Attack plus one. So we go to the science, see if we can do any science here. Yamato, infantry, here we go, it's unlocked. So let's research, speed it up. All right, that's one done. We can do, let's do the cavalry defense as well. We got enough crystal, you know. So let's do this one as well. Done. Let's do this one. I mean, the archer defense is really good. We really need that one. So I'll be working on that more than uh, the other ones later. So we unlock that one. What's this? How much does this? So you need neutral one for this one. I can't do this one at the moment. Um, how much does it cost? I can't do anything at the moment. So that's what we can do at the moment. Um, see guys, it's not difficult. Um, you just need a scroll. You just need 800,000 or you pay, I think, uh, 10 of your own currency, your country. And then, um, you know, you can switch civilization. And you get all the signs that you've done with the previous ones. You know, you get them all added up and you'll be uh, possibly you get to the level of the big boys, you know, without spending too much money. And um, yeah, so um, if you did that, this is the way you can uh, grow. You can be able to defend yourself against uh, these big castles um, from skill hits, from rallies, um, you know, however you want to do it. This is probably one of the best ways to uh, get stronger in this game without spending money, too much money. Um, let's see if there's anything else they to cover for you guys. Um, yeah, basically that's about it. It's not that difficult. Um, if you if you if you follow this way, um, you know um, you won't you won't go wrong. So um, I hope this video is uh, informative. I hope you got something out of it. Um, if I missed out anything, uh, please do comment down and so we can discuss this further. And um, I hope you guys do the same thing because I want everyone to be strong. Um, you know, the game is difficult with, without uh, spending money, but this way, I hope this way will help. I'll catch you guys in another video and um, don't make sure you uh, check my other videos with some more information and the way, you know, to play this game as well. All right. See you later, guys. Catch you later.